Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today we're talking about M Lowers Universal. Now this is an incredible pack with a bunch of different presets. We have cinematic, we have clean, glitch, retro tech, and social media. So this is the perfect pack if you use a lot of different titles in a variety of styles of video. So with that said, on to the tutorial. Once you have installed M Lowers Universal via M Installer, it can be located in your titles. To apply, you can click and drag on top of your clip or highlight and press Q and that will drop that down into your timeline where your playhead is located. So you can see here we have this awesome cinematic title coming in. Up in our canvas, we have on-screen controls for position, scale, and rotation. Over in our inspector, we can make any changes to our animations in and out, the in and out speed, our position, rotation, scale, blending mode, etc. We have this content float. Now, what this means is there is a slow kind of animation push on titles that have the float. So if you have float amount, you bring that up, it's just going to push that much faster. So, of course, you would need to see where that's going to fall and adjust accordingly with your on-screen controls. And again, back in our inspector, we have our text where you can change that text along with your font and any additional parameters beneath. For our next title here, we have clean, a lot of different really pretty options here. So why don't we just grab one of these? We can tap Q to bring that in. And again, the same parameters over to the side. So you can see that we have pretty much the same things. We've got the text boxes where you can change your text and all of your fonts. So let's continue down. Next we have glitch and you can see that a few of these have some titles on top as well. So we can just grab glitch number four, drop that in. We have on-screen controls that we can bring that text wherever we would like over in our inspector you can see that we have the same parameters but then we also have text flicker that we can turn on and off text flicker range if we want that to be all we can do the different characters words etc and then we have the text extra color now obviously if you want to change that just click on your color and i'm going to use my eyedropper tool and why don't we make it this green so now it matches our scene here really nice Let's continue down. We'll take a look at our retro here. So a lot of really fun options in retro. I like this one a lot. We use that in our intro there. So I'm just going to grab that one and drop that one in. And then you can see cherished memories. Why don't we bring that over? We can just kind of scale that up, something like that. And why don't we change the color on our second image there to something that matches our scene. So we could grab this sort of pink right here boom and now it is flowing and it works with that shot now we also have social media presets in here a lot of different social media presets so why don't we use this one this one's really neat it's got this fun button animation there so we will just drop this one in and then you can see we're just asking you to follow her on social media. We could use our on-screen controls and maybe put that there on her computer if we'd like. Really cool. Over in our inspector, again, the same adjustable parameters, but in this one, we've got some icons. So we have Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, Snapchat. I mean, the list goes on and on. So if we said we want you following her on YouTube, simply click the YouTube button on Twitter x etc so why don't we just change that back to instagram there and then we have our button as well and you can change colors here if you would like so that that is on brand um with your content that you are placing this on you know maybe we grab this blue just so it kind of matches our scene a little bit better and there you go really quick really easy to use the final bit is our tech option so you can see that we have a lot of interesting tech titles here so why don't we grab this one here we'll drop that in to tech 
and then we can see that again we've got on-screen controls and we can just kind of place that wherever it is going to make the most sense and of course over in our inspector a lot of the same adjustable parameters we can toggle that border on and off we can change where that is we can do our width our height so you can really fine tune that and make it how you want it to look and that is about it thank you so much for checking out this quick tutorial on m lowers universal now available for motionvfx.com be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one